Hey, what's up? People Piz out here, and this is the new Mezco Designer Series Halloween 78 Michael Myers figure. Now, I love these Mezco Designer Series figures. I own the Pinhead and the Jason Voorhees, and I jumped at the opportunity to pick up this Michael Myers. As soon as Mezco announced it, I pre-ordered it. It arrived in the mail just the other day, so let's check it out. First, let's take a look at the uh, box. Uh, that the figure comes in. There you see Michael through the uh, through the window in the box. There you have the Halloween logo. In the corner there, you've got Mezco Designer Series. Here is the side of the box with uh, the figure holding his uh, kitchen knife or butcher knife looking very ominous. Here is the other side with a very nice shot of the mask. Very cool. Here is the bottom of the box with all of the credits. Top of the box. And here is the back of the box with some, with some shots of the figure. Here is the jack-o'-lantern that comes with the figure. We've got a write-up back here that says, Michael Myers from John Carpenter's Halloween joins the Mezco Designer Series. Michael's dark eyes peer through his emotionless white mask. The seemingly unstoppable silent stalker is presented in blue coveralls and comes complete with a kitchen knife that fits neatly into his right hand, an additional right hand to recreate haunting poses from the film, and a jack-o'-lantern that he can hold. Very cool. All right. Now well, let's take this guy out of the box and uh, get up close and personal with the Mezco Designer Series Michael Myers figure. All right, here we go. Put the box down there for now. Here's Michael in his uh, plastic tray. Let's get him out. Take a look at him. Well, first, let's take a look at the jack-o'-lantern that comes with the figure. Here is the jack-o'-lantern, if my camera will focus. There we go. Looks very much like the jack-o'-lantern from the, uh, the opening credit sequence of Halloween. Looks very nice. Nice sculpt on the uh, the jack-o'-lantern. Let's check it out here. Yeah, very cool. Top of the jack-o'-lantern, bottom of the jack-o'-lantern. Very nice sculpt for the jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, very nice. Uh, it would have been even cooler if it came with lights inside, like some LED lights or something, and it would light up. But still, very nice jack-o'-lantern. All right, let's take a look at the figure all right let's check him out here very nice now one of the many things that i love about these mezco designer series figures is that they have a very nice amount of weight to them they feel very sturdy they feel very um substantial so that when you place them down wherever you're going to put them in your collection you are confident that they are going to stay exactly where you put them. They're not going to tip one way or the other, which is, it, which is an issue that I have with a lot of figures if they're lighter figures. A lot of figures are top heavy, so they have a tendency to tip one way or the other, which means you've got to get like some sort of a base for them or, or some sort of display that you can put them in so that they will stay <laughs> where you want them to stay and not fall over but i don't have to, i don't have that problem with these mezco designer series figures and i will not have that problem with this michael myers figure so let's check out the uh the mask on mr myers here very nice very nice job on the mask it's very nice sculpt on the mask it looks very cool i um, also really like the hair check out the hair here a lot of these michael myers figures if they have if they do the hair like this it's very flat here they took the time to mess it up and make it look more like it does in the film. Just a very nice head sculpt overall, really. But I dig, I dig the hair. I dig the head. <laughs> the mask has this kind of latex looking texture to it, which is also a very nice touch. Um, the eyes are black. Um, and I get what they were going for here. I, I, I get the aesthetic they were going for because Michael has the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes, etc. But I think it would have been cooler if they did add some flesh tone here around the eyes and then just give him dark colored eyes. Um, I think they would definitely kind of pop um, from inside this white mask. But 
I, I get what they were shooting for here with the the blackest eyes, etc. But I, I, don't, I don't I don't know. I think some flesh tone around you know around the eyes and then some some just dark eyes in there would have probably been better and made the figure again just just those eyes would have really popped i think but nevertheless still very nice head sculpt overall on this guy let's check out the uh, coveralls very nice coveralls very clean coveralls let's check out the boots <laughs> nice boots it's the bottom of the boots here is the back of the figure. Very nice. Yeah. Let's check out his hands. Another thing I love about these Mezco Designer Series figures are the hands. I love the uh, just the sculpt of the hands that they're they're kind of making a you know that kind of <laughs> um, whatever you want to call it. They're in that pose, which I think is really cool. Um, and I just, the, the detail on the hands, I think is really cool. If I can get them to, there we go. If I can get the camera to focus on the hands, very nice hands, uh, some nice detail in the fingers and the fingernails. Yeah. Very well done. Really dig that. Here is the, we'll call it the knife hand. Cause this is the hand that is, uh, intended to hold his uh, kitchen knife or his butcher knife. What have you also very nice. You've got a lot of articulation with the head of this figure. So you can have Michael doing his famous confused tilt either way. <laughs> you can have him looking up at you. You can have him glaring down at you very ominously. Very cool. So a lot of articulation in the neck of the figure. Uh, you've got some articulation in the shoulders. You've got some nice articulation, well, in the wrists. <laughs> uh, that's mostly, I think, because these hands of course pop off and can be uh are interchangeable but you've got some articulation at the elbows here too uh no articulation in the legs though you've got some articulation in the waist and the ankles moved ever so slightly so that you can um uh, pose him however you want to uh <laughs> however you want to pose him and give him a little bit more uh, stability if needed here is the butcher knife or the kitchen knife that comes with the figure. Got a very clean blade on it there. You've got a uh, wood-like finish on the handle, which is very nice. This is, of course, a full tang kitchen knife. Always choose a full tang knife. When you're knife shopping, full tang, always full tang. Here is the other hand. Again, love the pose of the hand. Love the love the the, the sculpt of the hand. Love the the wrinkles and whatnot, and the knuckles and stuff. Love the fingernails. Just very uh, very nicely done. Yeah. And here is Michael holding his butcher knife or his kitchen knife. The knife fits very snugly in his hand. You don't have to worry about the knife slipping out or losing it or whatnot while he's holding it. Definitely tight fit in his hand uh the other hand you could kind of hold it something like that and maybe put the uh, jack-o-lantern in there he can hold the jack-o-lantern like so with his uh butcher knife or kitchen knife what have you here is michael with the non-knife hand on um removing the knife hand was no problem and inserting the non-knife hand into the uh into the hole into his wrist hole was not a problem at all very easy to switch out the hands on this figure and you can have michael do one of these numbers and have him hold the jack-o-lantern like so this is a very nice Michael Myers figure, part of Mezco's designer series. Um, I love the the weight of this figure. I love the little details in the hands. I love the head sculpt. I love, I, I just love this figure. I love these Mezco designer figures. I will display him on uh, one of my shelves that have my Michael Myers masks on them. I think he'll look great uh, in that area of the man cave. Um, the only thing I may have changed about this figure again are the eyes i get what they were doing or what they were shooting for with this aesthetic you know the blackest eyes yada 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 but maybe yeah uh, you know it, it's 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 a nitpick but you know still overall i really really dig this figure really cool michael myers halloween 78 figure from mezco 
Stick around to the end of the video. I will have some up close and personal footage and photos of this guy. So stick around for that. Let me know your thoughts on the Mezco Designer Series Michael Myers figure down in the comment section below. Were you able to pick up this figure yet? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite Mezco figure is overall in your collection down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace.
join the a buck a month club and help support my channel on patreon thank you to my current patrons kevin smythe orc145626 bmovie mike robert sobel turry delamore stephen flanagan Lori holt craig farrand farron sutton jeremiah lambert grindhouse grotto joseph charlesworth Derek janna demon waffles simon clark stone gasman zachary barton james welch eli geisler jeff overing pete toll kyle mcguire jay the stingray lauren dixon andrew mcdonald dave barnes jonathan lundy chris gonzalez trenton bowser jason breitenbach and brandon bizdick Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.